Evening guys, quick Doris update. Um, been out the last few nights. Feel like I'm going backwards with it, but I'm going forwards. I've got now as far as the hazard and indicator wiring. What you'll see here is my first sketch of the wiring diagram. And these are the components that I'm going to use to make the indicators and the hazards work. I'm going to include a copy of that wiring diagram with this video. So if anybody happens to spot anywhere where I might have gone wrong with it, feel free to point out before I start wiring it all up. This is Doris. As you'll see, I put the fiberglass front on, start to fit the lights, um, lay the wiring out. These have all got to come around and meet up with the loom. Um, I'm going to make some kind of, um, there's going to be a multi-plug assembly here that you can undo. That'll mean you can take the front of the car off. Inside the car, well, it looks like I'm going backwards. Dash is back out again. Um, for those of you that haven't seen on the video, this is the Mega Jolt unit, bank of relays, and all the rest of it. Over there is the brain. This bit I've unwrapped back out of the loom. This was all tidy in the loom, so I can go through, um, find which wires are left there, the indicator wires and whatnot. For those of you that think I'm having an easy time doing this wiring, or wiring's easy, it might be if you have um, like lots of roller, different coloured wires and all the rest of it. What I've been doing is stripping um, the right length wires I need out of other car looms. So to give you an idea, these bunch of wires here, and that bunch there, and the stuff on top of there, have all come out of old looms that I had kicking around. Um, so I can try and keep, um, keep the same colour wires all the way through on this car. Okay, that's it for now. Zoom, zoom.